we are going to explore the calendar app on the MacBook and it is a very straightforward application it uh, is not going to have anything outside of the normal so there are a few things though that you can do that we want to make sure we clarify including how to add accounts and then how to add events and things like that there are a few shortcuts that make life a little easier when you want to add an event to this calendar so let's explore a little bit by starting with the preferences when I go to calendar as with all apps on the Mac uh, you go to your preferences when you go to your preferences you'll see your general options and so you can choose the default calendar app there are some other applications you can download for your Mac uh, that will interact both from an iOS device from a Google Calendar from different things so if you do have one of those that you download you can see that here and then you would select that calendar we are simply looking at the inherent calendar app for your MacBook you can choose the days of the week when you start you can have the day start on uh, and notice I can have a default calendar this will pull from my exchange or iCloud or anything else that I may have and then I can choose uh, the different types of calendars that I have next we have accounts notice I have two different accounts that are pulling into the calendar one is my iCloud which is set up when I do iCloud the other is exchange which I have set up through our email you can add accounts here with the plus or you could remove accounts with the minus if you need to you also have alert options and this will tell you when and how it will be alerted and finally you have some advanced options that you may want to look at and change Going across the menu, you also have filing options, editing options, view, window, and help as always. Remember again, you do have your shortcut keys. So in my calendar, if I wanted to add it a new if I wanted to add a new event, I could either go to file new event or simply do command N. If you are printing the calendar, whatever you see in the calendar view is what will print. So let's say that I added uh, the US holidays. Notice it added that. So if I printed this right now, it would print as I see it right here on the calendar. If it is unchecked and not there, it will print as I see it. If you go to calendars and click the word, you'll notice that your different calendars will show up or they will disappear depending on the view that you would like. The plus, which is right beside that, allows me to add a quick event. The same thing happens if I do Command N. It is going to add a quick event. As you type the event in, you can either start with the date, you can start with a time, you can start with the name of the event. So let's say that I wanted to do um, a test event. Notice it starts to prompt me already. It will pull up anything that I've had before that has a similar word. So I'm going to type test event. Let's say that I want this to be for June, so I will type 622. Notice it pulls up and says all day is the default. But let's say that I want that to be from 2.30, and it starts, it says 2.30 to 3.30. If I do 2.30 to 5.30, it automatically does it. When I hit Enter, that event is now created. And as I add that event, I can edit that from here by adding a location. If I click in here, I can change the time. I can make it all day. I can have an alert. I can invite someone to the calendar, and I can add notes to it if I want to. Let's say that I've created this and then I realize, you know what, I do not want this event. I can go right to the event. If I want to delete it, I can secondary click and do a delete. If I secondary click, I can also duplicate this and make it repeating if I want, and I can change which calendar that it falls under. Notice it turned yellow. The reason it was a yellow event is because that is the box that was shaded in and highlighted on the left-hand side of my sidebar. If I created an event, so I'm going to go ahead and delete this one, and let's say that I have the summer training is the one that's highlighted on the left. If I do Command N and I do Test Event, notice that it is shaded the color blue that corresponds with that calendar. So if you are going to be doing quick events, just make sure you know which one is highlighted on the left. That way you know which calendar that is falling in. If you don't remember what you've called an event, you can search for it. So let's say that I, I think I called it Test something and it is actually going to pop out to the right and it is going to show me all the different ones that are there the other thing that you'll see is your different view you can do a day view week month or year and at any time you can always go to the today view which will bring me back and the red bubble will highlight what the today view is so as i'm working through this and as you get into using calendar if you want to use this as your main calendar you'll see that you do have some standard options but then there are a few shortcuts you can use uh, that are very nice like the command N will actually allow you to quickly add a calendar event 
to this. If you are using um, this calendar and you have Exchange set up, it will pull in from the mail. So let's say that someone sends me an event via uh, my Exchange account. If I have that account connected, it will pull in those moments. For instance, you'll see here that I have uh, the MSA Science Testing window. That comes through my Exchange calendar and it was shared with me and added by another staff member. So the, that does connect, that does work, and if you are thinking about using the calendar but you're not sure about the exchange, it will pull in and connect to your exchange account as well. Thank you for joining us. Please check out our other modules on the WCPS training site.